Okay, so for our next problem, we want to find the area between f of x and g of x, where f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x. g of x uh, is going to be equal to x minus 2, and we're looking at the interval negative 3 to 0. So again, I haven't graphed these. I don't know which one is on top and which one's on bottom. So I'm just going to make the assumption that this guy's on top, this guy's on bottom, right? And um, if I get a negative answer, I know that I have that backwards, basically. So let's go ahead and write our integral down and see where we get. So let's find the area between these two curves. It would be the integral from negative 3 up to 0, f of x minus g of x dx. So we can just write the actual functions in here, negative 3 to 0. f of x is x squared plus 4x. And then we're subtracting g of x. Now to make sure you're clear, g of x is x minus 2. You want to make sure and wrap it in parentheses because if you don't, then you're not going to get the right signs everywhere because g of x is this whole quantity. You want to put it in parentheses to make sure that you get the right, um, the right thing there. So the integral is negative 3 up to 0 and then you'll have x squared plus 4x. This will be minus x, and then this will be plus 2. Just like this. All right? So we can simplify this integral, negative 3 up to 0. We have the x squared. That kind of remains the same. 4x minus x becomes 3x. And then the 2 becomes the same. So really, this is what we want to integrate. x squared plus 3x plus 2. We want to integrate from negative 3 up to 0. This is a nice polynomial. We know how to integrate that. So the integral of this guy is 1 3rd x cubed, right? The integral of the second term is 3 over 2 x squared, because we're just taking the exponent plus 1. And the integral of the third term is 2x, and we've seen that a million times already and we have to evaluate it from negative 3 to 0. Notice we haven't had to do any substitution because this integral is already in a form we know how to solve without really blinking. All right, so now it's just the calculus is done. Right now it's just basically algebra and fractions and all that stuff. So what we want to do is plug in 0. So we'll have 1 third 0 cubed, 3 halves, 0 squared, 2 times 0, we can already tell what's going to happen to this first term. It's all going to be a fat zero, but we want to write everything down to make sure that everybody understands you know what you're doing. Then you have one third from here. You have negative three third cubed. And you have plus three halves. And then you have negative three squared, right? And you have plus two times negative three. So really all we have to do is simplify all this stuff. So what we have, all of this stuff just becomes zero. All of that becomes zero. And then we have minus. Keep everything in the brackets for now because I don't want to confuse myself. Uh, negative 3 cubed, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is going to give me negative 27, and it's over 3 because of this. Negative 3 squared is positive 9, but positive 9 times 3 is also positive 27. So I have 27 over 2 there, All right? And then here I have negative 6. So at the end of the day, what I have, when I distribute this negative in, I'll have 27 over 3 minus 27 over 2 plus 6. So I have this guy. Now this is all correct, but I see right away that 27 over 3 can be 